We, a class of eight and nine year olds, had the opportunity to ask a member of the greatest generation, 88 year old Fred Carr from Norwich, about his experiences of World War II. He lived in Norwich with his father and two sisters. He and his sisters looked after their dad because he had no legs as a result of diabetes. Uh, we had two main air raids, and that we call what they call a reprisal raid. It was because we bombed a place in Germany, which we sh they, the Germans thought we shouldn't have bombed. The second time was terrible, terrible. I'm, I wouldn't wish any of you to go through that. I was only, I was about 14 at the time, and oh, it was dreadful. These two nights of raids, that was the scariest, because we didn't know what was going to happen. Bombs were dropping all around, the houses were being blown down, satellite, uh, telegraph wires were down. Dogs and cats was running all over the place. People were screaming. Um, that was really scary. Uh, the siren would sound to say that there's an air raid starting. And the, the, the signal for the air raid siren was a, a level um, sound. But they're all clear as a wavy sound. So you should be able to distinguish between the starting of a raid and the finishing of a raid. But the first night of the war, they did this to, for a practice that I had to get my father up, I had to put, get his legs on. So my sisters went downstairs and got gas masks on. And there they, when we got downstairs, there they sat on the table with the gas masks on, uh, which is, it wasn't a gas attack. I mean, that's a separate signal. So we got down to the air raid shelter, waiting for the air, air raid to finish. And we heard people talking outside. We thought, why is this? Why, why are people outside when the air raid is on? And then we realised the signal that we got down the air raid to was an all-clear signal. And the raid was over. It wasn't no raid, it was a practice. 